Sir, I think uh, I got an offer from TMC to fight uh, Darjeeling Lok Sabha election. Uh, uh, part, uh, uh, the Lok, Lok Sabha election. Lok Sabha election. Yeah. And uh, I've always been following politics when when I was even playing as well. So I'm quite up to date in terms of Indian politics. When even you know during my playing days as well. So I was interested in politics. I wanted to always join politics, but the timing I was not too sure when. And uh, then the opportunity came in. On the when they offered me the fight in. Uh, it was quite a surprise kind of a thing, and but I took it up. Though it was a you know a new and completely different field and also a new experience, a difficult experience. But uh, that's how I joined. Yeah, I said the offer came in. Yeah. You know, maybe if, uh, Delhi had offered or Sikkim had offered or yeah. Say That's what I was going to ask. Why not the Sikkim Mani- parties? If Manipur had offered, then I would have taken it. The offer came from TMC first. Okay. So and I've lived in Cal- Bengal for 25 years. I'm born in Sikkim. I left Sikkim when I was 15 years old. Hmm. After I've lived in Bengal for the next uh, last 25 years. Hmm. So the offer came in first. Obviously, the offer had come from Sikkim. You never know. I would have fought from Sikkim as well. Uh, and I wasn't. I wasn't planning as such to join politics. I wanted to join, but the timing as such of joining in or getting into politics uh, full time was not sure. But uh, you know, the offer came in, and I took it. Um, I've joined TMC once. I become member of TMC. Is the leader that decides. Party leader decides. When I decide to play football and join the team, the coach decide where I play, when I play, which position to yeah. play. And whether I'm fit enough to play, hmm. and it's the same with political party as well. Hmm. So when I joined in, we got no option but the leader decides. I might be happy, not happy in football. I might be not happy playing forward. I might be happy playing here. I might not be happy sitting in bench. Or sometimes I might not be happy playing. Hmm. But once you've joined in as a team, either in political party or as a football team, you've got to listen to your leader. And I, uh, you know, she she wanted me to fight her. Didi wanted me to fight in Singapore. Since I've joined it, and uh, Didi said, you know, wanted me to fight here, so uh, whatever my opinion was, I don't want to share it. But as a member, I I have to listen. I I did not. I was also not in a sense that I wanted. I was dying for it, and hmm. I always wanted to help the party more. Now, if I was not fighting the election, I would definitely been campaigning in Silvuri hmm. and helping any of the candidate who, hmm. who was fighting. But uh, yeah, it wasn't that I I was dying to fight or dying to get the seat. seat. But I was sure that I would be campaigning for the party in the uh, in, in the assembly. In life, where is easy? Do you think football? I achieved everything easily. I'm sure you did not. No. So I think everything in life is difficult, but at the same time, you can make it easy as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't think any seat in Bengal today, you know, is going to be easy. But at the same time, it's not going to be difficult. It's up to your team and the party. And the workers in that area to make it how difficult and how hard or how easy to make it. So yeah, Silvuri obviously with Ashok Bhattacharya is a is a yeah. he's been here three time uh, MLA and minister in the party as well. It's tough, but uh, at the same time I think if I can get my team organized and have my workers motivated, I think we can we can take a good. If you'd seen the Azlin previous Lok Sabha result. Uh, just one thing at one, completely hands down. You know the political four lakhs fifty thousand votes were cast in the hills. Mm. Out of that four lakh forty five thousand was went into just mm-hmm. BJP. Yeah, yeah. Only other parties got two thousand votes, mm-hmm. and that was a completely BJP bill. And I was fighting something which BJP had already controlled and all that. Mm. But at least to take out one lakh vote from the hills was. Yeah. A, Big positive. We were fighting for the first time TMC in Darjeeling constituency. Mm. We have never fought before. Yeah. And just to make the symbol, people to re- right. you know, recognize the symbol was a big challenge. Uh, but it was a good learning experience. I think it's much more better. We are more organized. The area is smaller. Uh, I had I've got same amount of time, little bit more, but the area is small. So yeah, and I've been able to organize the party. So the chances are good, very very good. And uh, the way the parties worked in the last five years. I think that also give me a big, big bonus to really, you know, ask for votes and all. Hmm. In reality, today Silguri, you've seen the town. I think you've got your cousins living here and all that. And Silguri, the way it's located, geographically located, I think it's got huge potential. 
it's one of the most commercial city in Bengal. It can be a most commercial city in entire India as well. It's got a huge potential in terms of sports development. Mm. It can be a sports city as well. Mm. So the potential is big. I think they require, Silvery requires young, dynamic uh, leader with more young, fresh ideas, modern ideas. And I can assure you I can bring that to Silvery. It's always going to be tough, but it's not obviously, you know, we need to reach out. The party organization in the hills have grown in, in the last two, three years. So obviously it's going to be very, very tough. Uh, I'm sure we can we can pull something, you know, we can pull a surprise there, which is very, very much capable. But I can assure that in the hills for the first time, I think that we've given such wonderful candidate, two female candidate from Persian and Darjeeling. I think it's time in the hills mm. that, you know, women come and take charge. Mm. I think the men have been running, men have been running the hills. And you've seen the kind of violence, the kind of situation, problems, development, corruption. I think it's time Mahila women take in charge in the hills and people should vote in, in that in terms of development. Mm. In the name of Gorkha land, I think it's always been vote. You know, they've taken vote. Once they get the vote, they forget Gorkha land. BJP has taken vote in the name of Gorkha land. Where is Gorkha land? Yeah. Yeah. As Aluwale asked one, even one question in the parliament. Mm -hmm. no. But when Lok Sabha comes, he'll ask exactly one year or six months before he'll start raising the question. Whole year is sleeping. Mm -hmm. So it's always fought in the name of Gorkha land. And after that, once it's finished, you know they don't they don't do anything about it, which is very very sad. He wasn't fighting from TMC. I think there was misunderstanding. But it was Mamta who had. Mamta uh, what wanted to say was from the uh, Kalimpong, her, uh, uh, Harka Bahadur is gonna fight. She I think did not complete a sentence in saying that she, we are not fielding the candidate in the Kalimpong. What she wanted to be in Harka. Hmm. Supporting her, which she clarified later on. Hmm. But look at look at parties today. You've got well-educated intellectual people in the hills today. Hartabad leading morcha. You look at uh, uh, Mr. Devan, who hmm. was an IAS officer in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh. A lot of intellectual people are leaving the party and they have realized that you know a lot of people are just playing politics in the name of Gorkha hmm. So I think people have realized, I think people, you know, other people should realize, which I think in time they will realize. It's not that our party is against people of the hills, our party is not against Gorkhanism, we are not against against Matu and you know, which uh, Morcha says uh, Matu go against. I think our party, today leadership, president of our party in the hills is Rajan Mukhe was in LM. Hmm. Today, Santa Chetri, who is a candidate from Korshan, is was in jail. They have hmm. fought and given life to fight, get Gorkha land. Hmm. They are not against Gorkha land. They are not against hmm. people of the hills. Hmm. They also agitated, fought hmm. for Gorkha land. Hmm. But after a certain time, they have realized there are things which has to be in different manner. Hmm. And they have left it. So I think people should realize that even our leaders from the hills are from the hills. And they have given sacrifice their life to get Gorkha land and all that. So they are not anti-Gorkhali people. They are not anti-people of the hills. They are not... Hmm. You know, it's only that people now who are ruling it are playing politics on it, but they are not doing anything, hmm. anything to achieve that. They, they would not. been very, very clear on saying that they would not support Gorkhan. And I think Mamta Banerjee has been very clear that she won't let it divide. Why is uh, BJP not clear on it? Hmm. They have voted BJP. <laughs> Why is Morcha then not questioning BJP? When they come for vote, they ask Morcha. Why is Morcha not then saying that since BJP now is in the center, they are in the power, why are they, why are they not raising it? Morcha was supposed to have a big, uh, all the uh, Sabhasans, uh, you know, from the hills were supposed to go to Delhi and have a, uh, have a uh, discussion. 20, 20 days of uh, protest in Jantar Mantar. Why did that, that not happen? Why is Ali Aluwale not raising questions? Today Modi comes to Sikkim, hmm. Narendra Modi comes to Sikkim, he has got no time to come to Darjeeling and Kalimpo. Darjeeling and Kalim, Darjeeling is the only thing they have, they have had MP for two times. Hmm. And Darjeeling is given that. He has got no time to come to Darjeeling and look at people, people's issue. Hmm. So why, 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 why is Gorkhal an issue lost with BJP right now? Hmm. Modi clearly made it, Narendra Modi clearly made it. Gorkhali ko sapna mero sapna. Hmm. Ab sapna kaha goi mo mo di ko. Sikkim aonza, Sikkim di ki it's just matter of 10 minutes in helicopter to land in Darjeeling, spend half an hour, listen to people's issues problem. Hmm. Hmm. But he's got no time. Hmm. So where is Morchas and BJP's issue on Gorkhali? So do you... Uh, and, and also for clear, clear, to make it very, very clear, even the BJP president in West Bengal went to Darjeeling, gave a whole speech out in media saying that BJP does not support Gorkha land. We would not have 
we would make sure that the vote collecting does not happen. And this is the BJP's president who made an official comment in Darjeeling when he had a meeting. When was this, sir? This was, you can check it out with the media, and it was all out across the media. It was out. Hmm. So, you know, it's not that, it's not only TMC, TMC is against, against the issue. I think when the party decides whatever it is, that is everything to follow it. As I said, we are not against tomorrow Gorkhal and happens. I would be happy. No, but you know, if you are, if you come back to power, so would you... So I'm saying, if Gorkhal and happens tomorrow, I will be very, very happy. There will be, uh, my party leaders who are working with TMC will be very, very happy. They are not against it. But whether it is going to really happen or not, you have got to really look at it. You know, today you've got, you got, you are asking, I will give you the biggest example of Nagaland. Nagaland was asking for independence. They, they then they let that independence happen. Now they were asking for greater Nagaland, mm -hmm. where all the Nagas in different parts of the state they wanted all the Nagas to come under one belt and have a greater Nagaland issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that did not happen. So they have come down on a table and sat across. So demands are made. I'm not saying that demands are. But today, tomorrow, Gokhala happens, I will be the first person to be happy. I'm not against mm -hmm. anti. No, I get that, sir. But I, my I, my personal thing is I'm not anti Gokhala. I've said it if the Gokhala happens. You know, so there are demands being made. Tomorrow, some somewhere people might say we want some other land. Mm -hmm. You know, so it has to be realistic whether it's possible. Or not. Mm -hmm. I can't to, tomorrow. I can't start in Sikkim. I want some kind of state or some kind of mm -hmm. thing. Tomorrow, somewhere somebody in, uh, in, in, even in the hills as well, somebody will say no. We want different kind of land. Mm -hmm. Or tomorrow uh, in Jalpaiguri, there there have been issues. There. So it has to be realistic. Center yeah. has to be convinced. The state has to be convinced. And uh, that, I think that's what that's what we look into it. So if Gorkhala happens tomorrow, I and my party, lot of my Gorkhali leaders in the area would be very, very happy. But whether it happens or not is a is a technical where the center and the state has to take a decision. But you can't always fight on Gorkhala issue and then once you win the election, forget about it and then do no development, no nothing. And when election comes then Gorkhali deals sentiments of Gorkhala. And then at the end, once they win, they forget Gorkhala and also not go to work. That is my objection to Gorkhala issue. I think I can only say one thing is, today Indian politics needs cleaning up. You know, BJP is in the power, Congress was in the power before, they are in the parliament with majority. We need to bring in a bill that becomes accountable, transparent, RTI to all the political parties. BJP is in the power, can they do that? Congress is their opposition, CPM is there, can they support it? Hmm. Let's bring it and remake political political parties and political scenario in India. Team. We need to do that. But right now it's only about your party is more dirty and my party is clean, does not work. All the parties have gone through that and today BJP's last Lok Sabha election campaign, the kind of money they spent. Where have they come from? Have they shown it? Congress has the same campaign which they spent. Mm. You've got scams in BJP state, Madhya Pradesh, Bhaktram scam. You've got states in Delhi when we had that. So I think, you know, I, as I said, that when, when the allocation went, we've got to make sure the political parties have got to clean it up. I think you know, the only way to solve all the uh, you know, issues, what, what you're mentioning is, I think we've got to clean up and make sure that the bill is being passed.